Venom number 157 by Mike Costa and Mark Bagley. Mayor Fisk addresses the cameras and admits that there's some dangerous creatures beneath New York City streets. As he speaks, Eddie Brock chides Dr. Steven for his shoddy medical repairs. Suddenly on TV, the police commissioner introduces Craven, and Eddie recognizes him. He holds the severed head of one of the dino people, and further, the news reports also that Venom is on the loose. Eddie and Venom know that there's only one thing they can do, find Craven and take him out. And since his visit to Alchemax must be kept a secret, he'll have to do it without the serum needed to keep his psychotic episodes at bay. A short cameo reveals Lee Price's lawyer giving him news about a Venom sighting. While in the sewers, the symbiote blends in with the troops pursuing him. He takes them out summarily while triggering Craven's traps along the way. Finally, he spots it, and he attacks. The bad news, though, is that Craven anticipated this, and just so brought some added protection. Shriek unleashes a massive sound blast that immediately explodes Venom from Eddie's body. Craven tells her to hit him again, and this time the burst damages the city streets above them crumbling a brownstone and sending innocent people scrambling. Venom does everything he can to stop it, webbing it up before running out of gas. Craven screams at Shriek for starting the cave-in, and later spies the dino folk, telling his men to not engage. Just then, scores of rats pour out of a sewer pipe. The bait has been set. The issue wraps with Eddie trapped in the rubble. Normally Venom would shore up his broken bones, but for the first time since their reunion, he feels alone. Worse yet, he's late for his treatment from Alchemax. Without it, the alien slowly builds rage, and Eddie has no way to control it. Will he be able to get control of the monster in time? We'll have to wait, as this issue is left to be continued. You know, I'm super psyched where they've brought this character. Formerly being a maniacal villain, they've changed him into a hero, where Eddie Brock is essentially a man trying to control his demons. While it's been done before, I sense a more permanent change with my Costa at the helm. With Lee Price being around, I enjoy the toying back and forth, whether they'll pivot the alien to being unhinged. It's an interesting story, and it keeps building. I give this one a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.